Hello, this is one product from GeekHack, and I just wanted to show out this layout analyzer that I've been working on for the past few days. What I wanted to do was make a very easy to use uh, layout analyzer that presented a lot of information so you could make decisions as you're working on it rather than having to look them up on multiple different pages. And I wanted it to be interactive because the one other layout analyzer that I really liked to use, uh, which is this one here, is not interactive and the problem is you have to go to configuration and then when you're in configuration you can set up all these keys but then once you go to the main page here and you do the analysis you can't change uh, the keyboard anymore so you can't do changes in real time so the way this works is you first start by reading a uh, loading a layout and this is rather simple. So for example, I have a Colmac layout here, and I'll just open this to show you what it looks like. So pretty much you just write the keys as they appear in uh, the illustration of the keyboard here in the top panel. And it's just uh, the main kind of 30 keys, I call them. Uh, one column for each finger, except for the indexes, where you have two columns each. And after you load a layout, you're going to want to read in a text file and this is where you're going to get your stats from so for example I'll read in this first chapter of Alice in Wonderland and now I have some some data to go with so on the bottom you have this large matrix and it shows all the frequencies of two grams and two grams are two consecutive characters the first character is represented by the row and the second character is represented by the column so for an example, in uh, English, the most common two gram is TH, and as you look down here, uh, you see that TH is pretty large, but actually in this Alice in Wonderland example, HE is slightly higher. HE is considered to be the second most common in English. And then on top of that, you have the, the one gram frequencies, so those are basically singer, single letter frequencies. And E is the most frequent, as you can see, and then T, A, etc. Uh, in the middle here we have a bunch of stats. Uh, there's left hand load, right hand load, and then some common metrics we use when analyzing keyboard layouts. There's alternation, same finger, uh, inward roll, outward roll. And then on top we have a heat map. And then the unique feature about uh, my layout, ana layout analyzer is that you can mix some swaps and the stats update in real time. So you can kind of see the effect of everything you're doing as you go along which helps you figure out uh, if it's kind of a good change you're making to your layout. And you can also switch layouts uh, once you read text. Uh, so I can switch to uh, Dvorak, let's say. And it's real fast because it only has to read through the text once, which is another problem with some of the layout analyzers. They all uh, reread the entire text every time you want to make a change. Uh, I'll be releasing this so you guys can use it uh, pretty soon. The one thing I want to add is some sort of uh, heuristics to do kind of a one number that represents how good the layout is. And I'm going to make something so that you can uh, save the layout and then you can share it with some other people perhaps. Alright, thanks for watching.